In next year's conference, Vercel team has announced next year's version 14. With improvements in Turbo Pack, local server setup is now 53% faster. And code updates with fast refresh is now 94% faster. These improvements are achieved after 5000 tests are passed for app and pages router. Server actions are now stable. They can be integrated with caching and revalidating and also supports simple function calls or works natively with forms. Partial pre-rendering in preview is now available. It enables fast initial static response and then it can stream dynamic content. Final edition is a new documentation to learn foundations of Next.js. To create a new web app using Next.js version 14, you can write command npx create next app at the rate latest. It will ask for your project name in terminal and will also ask for some initial setup questions. It will install required packages and dependencies. Then you can check it has created this project using latest next version. Next.js compiler is improved a lot in this version. Next.js is using Rust based Turbo Pack, which is the successor to Webpack. Vercel team is doing integration tests for next tab with Turbo Pack. These tests are result of 7 years of bug fixes and reproductions. They are continuously performing different tests with Turbo Pack. As of now, 91% of next tab tests are passed. When 100% of tests are passed, they are planning to move Turbo Pack to stable in an upcoming minor release. But they will still continue to support Webpack for custom configurations and ecosystem plugins. By default, Turbo Pack is not activated in your project. To use Turbo Pack in your project, you have to make changes in package.json files, scripts, object. Usually, when you run npm run dev command, Turbo Pack with the dev server is not starter. You have to use Turbo Flag with next dev. Now if you again run npm run dev command it will start dev server with turbo pack. The method by which the data from forms is submitted is also changed now. In Next.js version 9 API routes were introduced. We could simply create a JS file inside API folder and then we can define a handler function inside it. In this handler function, we can define a response according to incoming request. Now in another file form.js, I have created a simple form. Then also created an async on submit function. In this function, now I can call submit API route I have just created. Now in web browser, you can see a simple form is created. Now if I enter something and then click on submit, I will get an API response. This whole example is created through pages router. But now there is a better way to do same process using server actions. In an app router, you can create a form page and then you can create a simple form. In previous example, we have used on submit attribute, but now we have used the action attribute. You can create a server action function and then provide it into action attribute of form. Again, you can check a simple form is created through app router. If I enter something and then click on submit button, you can check a fetch command of name form is created and its initiator is a server action. Here I have displayed the form data in terminal which the server action is sending. You will notice this example is so much simpler than previous example in which we were using API routes. This improvement is possible because in this version 14 Next.js has upgraded to latest React Canary, which includes stable server actions. Server actions are deeply integrated with app router so you can do so much more. Revalidate path or revalidate tag functions can be used to revalidate cache data. Redirect function can be used to redirect to different routes. Cookies can be set or read through cookies function. Use optimistic cookies for handling the optimistic UI updates. Use form state hook can catch and display errors from server. Use form status hookies to display loading states on client. Another feature added is partial pre-rendering which is still in preview. It is a compiler optimization for dynamic content with a fast initial static response. That means first a static site is served, then later on it can be updated with the dynamic content. Vercel team has developed this feature after a decade of research and development into server-side rendering, static site generation and incremental static revalidation. It also requires no new API to learn. Partial pre-rendering is built on React Suspense feature. Suppose you are building an e-commerce website and you have a My Store page. It has a shopping cart component and recommendations component. They are wrapped inside React Suspense and also have a fallback component. This will generate a static shell based on Suspense boundary and the fallback components are pre-rendered. When a request is made, first a static HTML shell is served. After that, shopping cart component reads user session from cookies. This component is then streamed in same HTTP request as static shell. There is no extra round trip needed for this. This is amazing. Partial P rendering is still under active development and will be released in an upcoming minor version. 
Next addition is metadata improvements. When a page content is streamed from server, first its metadata about viewport, color scheme and theme is sent to browser. If these meta tags are not sent with initial page content, there can be issues of flickering or layout shift. Now in Next.js 14, blocking and non-blocking metadata is decoupled. Only a small subset of metadata is blocking. Viewport, color scheme and theme color metadata options are now deprecated and will be removed in future major version. These are replaced by new options named Viewport and Generate Viewport. You can customize initial viewport of page with these options. Viewport is a static object, whereas Generate Viewport is a dynamic function. The final addition is Next.js Learn course. It is a great course through which beginners as well as experts can learn the foundations of Next.js. It has 14 chapters covering both React and Next.js. You will be building a full stack web application in this course. It has a lot more other concepts that you can learn. So overall, this is a great course.